the paradigm shift for the disposition of desmond nuclear fuel which can reduce the area needed to 100 compared to the, the direct disposal. So that is really decided? Uh, the policy is not decided yet, but uh, it's, uh, the, 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 the policy to do research was decided. Thank you all, Chair. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Do you still have a question? Sorry, I just wanted to make a general comment. I used to work uh, on nuclear policy at the State Department and essentially worked in Korea also. Uh, the, the sense I got in the uh, discussion was that U.S. Um, and South Korea uh, do have a sort of, um, some sort of tension uh, in this area. But I, I do want to emphasize that there is a, also a very good working relationship, much better than with most countries on this subject. And I think there is a sense that the U.S. wants South Korea to stay in step with it. Doesn't want it to get too far ahead. Uh, I'm so retired, so it's a, a few years ago. The other thing is with regard to the Indians. I think, uh, yes, the, the U.S. gave India a special deal, but the Indians were on their own. They also didn't want this deal very badly because of the constraints. But they had already ha done their um, nuclear tests, and so I think they were in another category, and it was a more strategic decision. But I think the Indians were going to go on their own. Uh, they, had, they have difficulty getting fuel, and that's what the deal. But in the final analysis, the Indian deal is going to result for business for South Korea and the French and not us, you know. And uh, I think the other point which um, you made, which I think is important to recognize, is that much of South Korean nuclear technology has, um, uh, is anchored by U.S. and some other Western technologies. So that essentially for South Korea to do any export or dealing with other countries, uh, the U.S. is a player in that. Hi, Cynthia Kaiser, DOJ. Um, you were talking earlier about the about South receiving the majority of its nuclear fuel from the United States. Um, I've seen wildly different figures on exactly how much uranium South Korea is obtaining from the United States. I wondered if you had a little more clarity on that, as well as discussing any diversification efforts on their part. Uh, I don't I don't have the hard numbers in front of me, but most I mean the question about whether it's the uranium or the fuel is also is part of the question, but it's also the the LEU primarily came from the United States. It's also, as I said, it's not only the fuel itself, but the fact that a lot of the reactors use U.S. technology, and that's been sort of accepted. And you know that wasn't a formal agreement. Um, it's been accepted by South Korea that fuel that's been irradiated in those reactors is considered U.S. origin. And so that, that makes up the, uh, by far the majority of the fuel in, used in South Korea. We have time for maybe one more question. That fuel from the reactors should be considered U.S. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, that's something like a political question. But uh, as a scientist, I think that we would love to have a, a, you know, a, a full blessing from the United States for the development of any pure cycle or we don't want to count on if it's from US origin or not. We want to know just the collaboration full blessing. Any final questions? All right. Well, uh, before I ask you to join me in thanking our speakers for their contribution here today and fielding a discussion with such an expert audience, I do want to remind you that today's paper will be available online following the program. If you do not 
receive KEI's academic paper series uh, published emails, uh, you can certainly sign up for that distribution list on our homepage website. Um, I, we are incredibly proud of the authors we have been able to work with such, so far in this series, uh, even more so that the series has benefited from KEI's editor-in-chief, uh, our Vice President Jim Lister. You leave very big shoes to fill, sir. Um, it's because of them that we, it's because of you that we have a caliber of, of a program that receives proposals from such experts as our panelists today. Uh, with that, please join me in thanking Dr. Park and Mr. McCarthy.